probably the thing that has shocked me the most was tasting filet meow. Probably because I've never eaten cat before. Uh, but the thing I've learned the most here in Brazil has been from the other churches, the other believers. Uh, basically what we've seen and what we have witnessed is a bunch of churches in Brazil all working together, helping us even, for one, one goal basically, which is to glorify God and basically build the kingdom of God here. Um, it's been awesome to see them, and I've definitely learned from them uh, unity, unity in the body, and the willingness to serve, uh, worship, participate together for one goal, which is build the body of Christ. From the very first day of jumping, dancing, playing with the children, I realized that it was God who led me there and wanted me to experience all of that. I've never seen such energy and passion in children before while praising. After spending some time, I noticed myself not worrying about how I look or what others thought about me. I definitely saw myself grow more passionate and bold in my faith. What impacted me most on this trip was uh, when we first got there and our first tour um, that the pastor was giving us of the of the slum, just going through and seeing these just destructed houses made out of any kind of scraps people could find. Um, it was honestly just like, it was hard for me to look at, just even going to, into the rooms and seeing a bed right next to the toilet and it just stinks and all this stuff and just seeing their living conditions and then seeing the kids like that don't have clothes that are literally running around, some of them naked. And I uh, just looked at that and just, and just looking into their faces really broke my heart. I've never seen anything like it in real life. Just picking up some of the kids and putting my arms around them, just embracing them, just showing them the love of God was one of the most amazing things. They would hold on to you and wouldn't let go. And it was just, it was amazing to see that. And it really just made me realize where I live and what God has done in my life and really appreciate so much more what I have and what God's doing. And it also made me realize how much more I want to help, you know, society and actually see poverty, people that are, don't have what I have to begin to help them. It was just shocking to me to see the people in the slums um, looking for self-worth in all the wrong places, um, just turning to prostitution and drugs. Um, it just made me want to show God's love to them even more, to show them that they are worth it, that God cares for them um, much more than they can think of. Um, my perspective changed on how I can make a difference here. Um, just showing people love through small, uh, small prayers and whatever we can do. Uh, what impacted me the most was that God did amazing th things through through us and that He can do it even here, um, here in Linwood. We can make a difference uh, by just praying for people, showing them love. A few things that I noticed on this trip was, uh, for one, the passion of the people in everything they do when they play soccer. Even the kids in the slums, the families, the broken families, they still worship God so passionately and they're so open and they love everyone. Um, that's definitely one thing you can take from that. Also the big contrast between the lower class and the upper class. There's almost no middle class. You can see a huge house next to a slum. It really makes you appreciate what you have and just be more thankful to God. God has moved in so many ways on this trip and it's amazing to see how easy it was for Him to move through us and for us to be His vessel. Um, we saw so many miracles from people being delivered, healing, and people getting saved. And it was awesome to just know that you don't have to be some big shot pastor or pray five hours to see someone healed or to see someone delivered. And um, all we have to do is just believe and have faith and he's going to do the rest. And seeing this just gave me so much more faith and just made me step out of my comfort zone and made me know that you know, I, I can be used by God. What I found awesome was that right in the middle of the slums, I mean straight up poverty, uh, we held church services. And in these services, regardless of the people's circumstances, they were worshiping God, loving Jesus. It was such an incredible experience to worship God with all of these people in a whole different part of the world. The way this trip has impacted me is that it's one thing to sit on your couch and to watch an episode about poverty around the world on the Discovery Channel, but it's a whole different experience when you're walking through the dirt, when you're avoiding the sewage water, when you're smelling the sewage water, when you're shooing the flies off of yourself. Uh, you hear from people that have gone on similar trips all the time, 
and you really do gain an appreciation for what you have. To summarize everything, we've been so blessed. God was with us. He helped us with everything. So, the physically and spiritually, a whole team was involved. A healing took place. People got saved. We fit 20 families for long term. And the relationship, most of all, when we so glad and happy because we can do further in the future our mission in Brazil. Local church and his team, Pastor Costa team, we got connection and relationship. It's so good, so good. And thank you for helping us, supporting us spiritually with your prayer and financially.